Howdy, dorks. Good afternoon. Happy Monday. Howdy, howdy. It's Unchatter. It's time for more foundation. We're going to keep going on foundation, I think, um, for a little bit at least. Um, we have some some big projects in progress right now, and I think we're going to keep them going. Oh, a, a resub. Hooray. Happy Monday. Thank you for the resub. 14 months. What the hell? Have I, have I re, 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 we really been here for 14 months? It does not feel like it. Time flies, don't it? Um, how's your, how's your Monday? How was your weekend? Uh, it's been pretty, pretty relaxed here. Um, the, the, the followage. <laughs> Is that an actual command? I'm not sure that actually does anything. Uh, relaxed is good. Uh, it's getting a little bit cloudy. It's not it's not cold by any means, but there was some cloud cover this weekend, and I am so happy for that. Now you have to set it up. Interesting. I'm gonna have to look into that. There are so many commands that I have not set up and looked into. Between between Nightbot and and like the dorks down there, there's a lot of stuff that I I should set up, and I just haven't sat down and, and figured it out. Anyway, uh, today's episode is brought to you by Cheese. And by you. Clicking on buttons down there and, and hanging out and helping me out and, and coming on this cheesy, cheesy journey with me. Um, I appreciate you being here. You're, you've been here for 14 months. 14 months of Cheese, JM. Plus some. I think you were even here before I, before I got affiliate, weren't you? Um, but yeah, that's... That's wild to me. Um, yeah, we're just gonna hop into it here. And yep, looks like it's working. We're just gonna load. So we have a big church going right now, right? We actually have two churches going, technically. We have a... Uh, uh, yeah, well, here we are. Uh, we're just gonna unpause, because things are kind of just going. We have a giant church that we've broken ground on up here. This is going to be huge. 124 tools. Ridiculous. 200 planks. 350 polished stone. That one's going to take a bit. This is, I think this is like the stream goal. I think I want to get this done. Um, but we also have a bunch of other buildings that are going. Uh, we have a vineyard going here and we also have this. Oh, this is this is getting close. Um, this gigantic chapel is going to replace this little chapel, essentially. Um, and it's getting close. Look at it. Look at it. It's, it's very nearly there. Uh, look here. I was here when you spent about six months hovering half a person under affiliate. Yeah, exactly. I, I feel like I still hover there. Um, it, it took a little bit of effort to, like, to hit affiliate, didn't it? Um, and you were here for that, so thank you. That was, that's a big thing. Uh, yeah, it's, this church, this church is gonna be huge. I, I, I may have overbuilt. Can I, do I get to see, isn't there a way to see? There was, there was some, there we go. Here's what it'll look like. I'm pretty happy with this design, at least. Jesus has leveled up massively since I was last year. Oh, yeah, you weren't here on Saturday, were you? Yeah, we're 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 expanding. We're up to three. Uh, we're building a fourth wheat farm. Um, so this is going to become wheat farm as well. Um, I've actually been sitting on times three speed. Uh, we have cheese going. Look at all our cows. We have dairy farms and and cheese makers. Everyone's everyone's making cheese. We're even we're even getting through our milk. We we had a whole bunch of milk for a second, but we've we've turned it into cheese. We have 68 cheese sitting here. So that's cool. Hopefully our food situation like there's still there are still people who are claiming they don't have food. And I think it's more of a logistics thing than a having food thing at this point. But I don't know. I don't know how to like smooth out all the logistics stuff. But this map was in terms of a pain in the ass in the early days. It's making up for now. I think we're finally getting through 
Like starting in this area was a little bit rough just because of all the, the landscape, right? But I think we're getting there. I think, I think our, we're like just barely breaking even on money, but um, now we're, we're expanding, right? Our, our actual territory includes this whole hill up here. Uh, we own all of this. We own this whole beach. We own this whole beach all the way down to here. Um, there's a gold mine over here. We've been mining gold. Hopefully someday we'll be able to smelt it into stuff. Um, but then we have a little town here, and then this is our giant monastery. I'm loving our monastery. Um, and then we haven't... Uh, this is like a, a pending bridge. We I haven't decided if I actually want to come out here, but this I like this little... This island is cool. I don't know if it's practical for anything, but it's cool. But also, like, this map is huge, right? Like, as, as, as big as this town is, like, we're up to 230 people. Not a, not a tiny town as far as, you know, Civ games go. But we still have, like, all this area back there. We have all of this area here. It, it just keeps going. This map is huge. This map is huge. No access to goods. Well... Whatever. Iron ore for the bishop? Uh, hell no. Iron ore has been hard to keep in stock. Uh, the bishop is planning on increasing this season's wine sales, but is in dire need of iron bands, iron ore for the barrel bands. Yeah, well, we're gonna need that too. Yeah, maybe not. I'm gonna say no. Um, oh, we're hosting wandering monks, right? So we're just having to keep them happy, but so far they're okay. They are... They do fill up our, our, our lodgings really fast. We can only hold 15 visiting monk-type people in our... in our monastery, but we all, there's just always people wanting to visit. Oh, look, it's done! They're using it! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Weekly attendance, 80. Holy cow. Yeah, okay, so there's there's the week. I'm curious how quickly this fills up. Because even that, like, our, our, our giant church is going to be helpful too, because, like, 80 is not going to satisfy everyone. This is our previous chapel. Maybe it just stays. Maybe it just stays. We have... Three bell towers. <laughs> um, but that's cool. I mean, so that's done. That is one large thing that is done. Look how big that is. I like this. Or is this still... They're going inside. But you haven't finished yet. Weird. Weird. Okay, we're on day four of the week and we're up to 38 attendees. So maybe it's okay. Maybe it's okay for now. Might not be my much though. Uh, and we have bees. We have beekeepers now. And as far as people go, uh, we want I want more nuns to balance this out, but apparently we don't have as many women as we do men. Strange. Um, and when we're making books, oh, we're making books faster now. That's that's nice. So um, I can actually promote another person to be a beekeeper, and I bet you're gonna have to promote someone to be a wine, like a vineyard keeper as well. Um, so let's promote someone. Uh, I want to say that we have. Prior? Ten brothers required per prior. Interesting. Um, I want to say we have more sisters than brothers right now. Oh, and you're, you're unemployed, so I guess... Here, I'll promote you. 
And that means now we have two beekeepers. Perfect. And the wandering monks were pleased. They gave us 16 clergy influence, right? So that's cool. Our, we're, we're making the clergy pretty happy at this point. Uh, we could get our, our glass windows. We could get a better cloister set of constructions. And another privilege, a privilege, a treasury. I only need so many of these things at this point. And that's, geez, huge. Monastic Abateel Church. An awe-inspiring monastic church dedicated to the faith. Requires a hundred rating. And 50, 50 influence just to unlock. Jeez. We'll get there, though. Um, I'm gonna buy that. And kind of, and maybe save? Maybe we'll, we'll grab that, too. Why not? Why not? Buying breads, herbs, and berries, Bishop would like to purchase food from your notorious land to help others under the benediction of the clergy. For herbs, bread, and berries, his steward is offering you enough gold and influence for your monastery to prosper. Um, so they're wanting a bunch of berries and, and herbs and bread. 50 bread, jeez. For five influence? Luckily, I mean, there's no penalty for just saying no, right? It's worse to say yes and fail than to just say no. Which I suppose there's a lesson there. Um, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say no. I feel like we're. I feel like our food is just barely okay. on more market stalls as well someday really it's the oh we were working on um more iron that was the thing yeah here we go i need more commoners more commoners for iron smelting because our because the tools the I, the tools are kind of holding us up on a, in a lot of ways i think um and we're, we're using all of our iron bars. I think it's just we don't have... We're not producing iron bars fast enough. So I built another iron smelter. Now hopefully that will start working. Um, well, we have a bunch of houses. These are going to be... Oh yeah, moving our, our sheep stuff over here. Eventually. We have all this gold. Uh, and that's kind of what's going on. Oh, and then we have this, right? We're eventually going to build this masterpiece. Uh, we built the the pedestal, but the the cross itself is going to require gem and goals. Gold. Gems and gold bars. Jeez. Uh, which, like, gems we're only just finding occasionally from... Well, where'd it go? There was one, I swear. Someone found a gem. Hmm. Do they need to get... They probably need to be stored somewhere. Uh... Where did, where did they go? I swear I saw, like... It in one of these crane outputs or something. Hmm. Well, gold is going to happen somewhere, right? Um, so maybe we could just preempt that by building another stockpile somewhere. Not that we have the ability to make more things right now. We're a little bit backlog backlogged on construction. Of course, this isn't going to help. I think I want to prioritize you. Or no, I want to prioritize the, um, the winery. that to be prioritized and then our cooperage so we can get wine wine making going because that'll be a luxury good which we can then sell uh, at our at our market 
I think that will be a good thing. Got a bunch of beer. get like through these trees I'm curious how when they decide to go through a forest these all have their beautification right can I do here beautification oh so you are not well it says it is Oh, because this is all just one building. Okay. Okay. You're good. You're good. You're good. Yeah, yeah. It really does not take much for them to be in a in a beautified area, right? This all counts. All these houses, the only thing that they're not having is a commoner resident. But I also don't want to just like promote everyone to commoner, right? That wouldn't be smart, I don't think. Uh, oh, we have houses popping up over here finally. Have some flowers. Beautiful. And then you're you're all good, right? Yeah, you're all good. You're all good. Cool. They will be doomed in generation times during flooding. But that's like 500 years from now. Who cares? We don't have to think that far ahead, right? So we, we we blew through all of our stones. We've been we've been making stones and polished stones here for the entire game. Uh, but now we're needing a bunch. And you're 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 doing your thing. And I thought I told one to be built over here as well. Of course that's waiting on tools as well. tempted to like import tools but I know that if I do that then we're gonna import 500 tools and just be broke immediately <laughs> like them when they're all like in a little a little line like that and not click on you okay Elders fill your village is almost ready to, to host a trading fair. However, they're uneasy to receive visitors with such a market. What do you mean? Our market is splendid. Reach five labor splendor with market. I swear to you. I swear it's at least five. I mean, we already have something being built anyway. Yeah, it's already a 10 already a 10. What are you talking about? Yeah, we need more... We need more stones. Um, I'm assuming that we are... Okay, that's what I was curious about. So there is there is something there. Right? These are our, our 
the two mines that we actually have. That makes sense. All right, and then there's stuff way the heck out here. And there's, I mean, there's a bunch of rocks there. Could buy, could buy these two, these two tiles next. Since it's still, you know, kind of by our, by our monastery, by our market. Yeah, I think these are kind of our two next most central. Oh, but we have this. We do own this tile. That's what we should do. Seeing more iron bars. I think that's a good sign. We have 10 unemployed people. Maybe we just need more builders as well. Um, Cause we have one, I have one there. There's one. Somewhere. There's one there's one there, and then there's one like over here. So maybe we need one like over here. Seeing things, they're working on it. Vine grower, yeah, okay, cool. And we're back up to 19 already, wow, okay. I think they're finally getting good at being copyists. Can I see, yeah, okay, so they're like leveling up, whatever that means. Copyist level five. Who knows what that actually means, but th I think they're getting faster at it. Um, so I'm gonna up up to uh, another bro. And then that turned into another beekeeper. We're gonna, oh, we have space for six vine growers. They're all gonna have to be promoted. <laughs> We're gonna promote quite a few people. Um, but we already have, we can already do it again. There we go. Monkey vineyards, yeah. It's in, like we're making beer, but the monks aren't making their beer. The monks are going to be making the wine, but the villagers are making the beer. Chapel change is complete. Perfect. Look at that. Look at it. Big old tower. That's cool. Up to 97 clergy splendor just from our monastery. Out of 111 total. <laughs> oh, but now we have 100 rating. Oh, now we just need 400 prosperity. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, I see. Trade balance, taxes balance, upkeep balance, territory upkeep, donations, huh. Oh, we can just increase our prosperity just by beautifying. Our, our beautification is probably the thing that's lagging behind. Okay, so maybe we should just spend some of our gold on beauty. Maybe that's, maybe now it's time to make things look nice. Uh, 
Uh, oh, and this can have five? Since two people are unemployed. Oh, but there, there are novices. Uh, so we should have like another, the, the herbs and the berries are like the only thing that non-promoted people can do. Or no, they can be copyists. We just need more copyists. Not that I'm gonna, uh, I'm not gonna build more. I'm not gonna build more. We're good. Uh, oh, and this got made. You, and you need citizens. You need three citizens. Oh my goodness. Um, so we have a bunch of builders, carpenters. Like, we're almost fully employed here. The only people who aren't employed are... A, a novice. Really? Or a novice of, one, of each gender. I got it. Um, I mean, oh, actually, that's what I do. You! Welcome! Would you like to be promoted? Congratulations, you are now Coopers. No? Why? Oh, because was that, um... To commoner. They need civilian. Oh, goodness. Okay. Jeez, okay. Uh, so it's gonna be the same two people. Oop. So we still need one more, but that, that'll get us started. Um, and then we're, we're definitely gonna need a spot for the supplies. Because it wants planks and iron and tools. This needs a holding warehouse for itself. Yeah, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do that. I had a tough stream yesterday. I lost the Champions League final, damn. Uh, it's like the top achievement in club football and I was the better team, but couldn't win in normal time, damn. Went to penalties and one of my players missed. Damn. So really, really close is what I'm hearing. Damn. Uh, a party of travelers heard your breweries are low on hops. Are are they? Not really. Just so happens they know a monastery not too far away that could trade you some of their surplus in exchange for wheat. I mean, I do have a lot of wheat, but I don't need more. I don't need 200 hops. I'm, I'm good. Tiny margins. Now I have to go another 20 hours or whatever. See if I can get there again. Damn. Whole, a whole other season, right? That's a... Uh, that's a lot. Oh, I have a warehouse there, too. Maybe... Maybe that's the one that we do. Or this one has its materials. Oh, whatever. And I think even as they're being partially built, I think as they bring materials in, you don't, like, you would lose them if you stop the construction. Even though I made the final, I finished one point out of getting in again next year, so it's actually two seasons. Wait, what? Ex explain. So that, okay. What is it about... What is it about football that means you are already determined to not get into the finals next year before the next season has even started? It's a stupid role, Imo. If you make the final, you deserve another shot. Right. Well, it should be... Like, in, in American sports, it's solely determined by what happened that season. Like, there's no... There's no carryover from a previous season. 
as far as like you're standing in the league. It just it's it's a clean slate each time. So that's that's weird to me. So this is this is the competition for the best teams in Europe and you need to finish in the top places in your domestic league to get into the European tournament next year. Oh, so it's it's always looking at the previous season's worth of stats for, for everyone. Is that the case? That's I mean, that's interesting, but also weird. Yeah, but because like because I mean, how much can your team change between you qualifying for it and you going right? Yep, it always looks at everyone's domestic finish, not their performance in the tournament itself. Unless you win it, that's the one exception. Interesting. So you made it to the finals of... What, what was this one called? There's... Jeez, I'm not gonna... I'm never gonna remember the names of all the different tournaments. Champions League. So you got to the finals of the Champion League this year but your domestic performance did not qualify you for the Champions League next year? Is that is that how that works? It's interesting that that can happen anyway. 100%. That, see, that's so strange. Because, I mean, just the fact that you're looking at last year's performance means you're looking at a different team, right? To me, like in... American sports land, you're you're always evaluating the current team because if that's if that's the team that can get those stats, then that's the team that deserves to go to the special league, right? Cause because I know how frequently, at least in, in American sports and I believe in in football as well, you're you're losing your your most pop you're like your you're always at risk of losing a really important component of your team, right? Between seasons. So I, I can just imagine there be I imagine there are situations where a team does really good domestically one year, qualifies for the championship or whatever, loses some really key players, and then goes to this championship thing with with a essentially a different team and get and get rocked, right? Like that's that's not fun for anybody. You're just watching this team do do poorly and be like, well if they were if they had all of last year's players, they'd be doing much better. I don't know. That's... It is strange to me. That is strange to me. Obviously, it, it works for some people, but that is... As an American, that's a bit... That's a bit strange. Uh, poor trade made last season difficult for Northbury and Abbas would like your monastery to aid them with herbs and berries. Always the herbs and berries. I mean, we have the herbs. We should just be... I should put more down more more berry farms in the monastery, shouldn't I? The fact that this one costs labor influence. I, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say no. I can get the berries. We've been we've been eating our berries this whole dang time. Um I think when our I think when our vineyard is done I'm gonna put down some more berry plots here. Have more. Do we have more nuns. There's a nun. Uh, oh look, these got made. Okay, so you you need to have barrels as your output, and we're gonna get planks and iron bars, goodness, and tools. Really? See, I. Uh, because the way these warehouses work, like I don't get to say, oh, I can't move my, <laughs> my mic arm is hitting cat. <laughs> What's stopping this? Um, yeah, maybe, maybe it's fine without all this. 
because I'd have to tell them to like stock maximum, right? For them to go elsewhere and bring them here. And in which case they're going to try to store like a hundred iron bars here, which we will never ever have. So I'm going to say, actually, well, this is going to be like, I'm going to, I'm going to leave the warehouse there because we're, I'm sure we're going to need it someday, but I'm going to say barrels go over here. Um, and you're going to stock maximum barrels because that is going to be for the wine. And then you are going to hold the wine itself. Or no, because that goes into a granary because it's food. Right? Can you? Oh, and our market got done. Um, oh, herbs are a luxury good. Oh, interesting. Okay. Um... both luxury things. There's less auto balancing, so the very best teams do hold on to their best players, but it's common for smaller teams to have one good year, make it into Europe tournament and struggle when they have to play in that alongside the domestic one. So do awfully domestically the following year. Yeah. Hmm. That's that's rough. I don't I don't know what you do about that. <laughs> um, I I'm assuming wine is just gonna go in here, right? Wine just goes in our tavern. We should we should upgrade our tavern. Our tavern could look much nicer at this point. Um, but it's gonna have to go into a granary. Okay, so it's just gonna go there. That's fine. Oh, and, and honey. We don't need wine twice. Um, herbs? We could say, we could say grab herbs. Cause we could sell, cause we can sell herbs at our, at our little place here, right? If, if y'all want herbs, you can have herbs and honey. We're not making jewelry yet. Uh, but herbs and honey are showing up there. Wine will show up there. All of our other food will be there. Okay. And on the cheese. Where's our cheese? I think the fact that they run parallel is the big difference. In the US, it tends to be one phase uh, leads to another phase. It's true. And then leads to a binner, big winner game. It's true. Um, yeah, like you have... Like all these different leagues, I guess, that that the same team can be included in, right? Kind of. Like in 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 the U.S., like like foot like American football, it's just there's there's the one league. They're doing their their 13 regular season games. They're doing a some playoffs, and then there's the Super Bowl, and like and that's it. And then there's like an All Star game, which is just like for fun. There's no, there's nothing else going on. So it's, it's interesting and cool that there are other things going on, but I can imagine it's rough for the players. Like you, you, you have one year where you're doing a whole bunch of stuff and yeah. Yeah. If you hit all the qualifiers, you're in four separate parallel tournaments. Like does, is that okay? Do we need to check on the footballers? That seems like a lot. It seems like a lot. And they're traveling for them all too, right? These are all like, these aren't like local things. These are all things that you travel for, I assume. Here they are two separate things that run at the same time, which is why who gets into the European one is based on last year's performance. It's based on league as it goes back to when it was just the winners of each league that got in. Okay. Next year after the league win. I mean, if it's just the victors, then I guess that would make sense because that can't happen until the, the league is done, right? But it sounds like that's not that way anymore. In some ways, it's good as it means you tend to get a mix of winners, I guess. Man, they play Tuesday, Saturday, they'll live. 
But they don't, they're not just sitting on their butts for the other five days, right? There's a lot of training. And travel, travel's hard on its own. I don't know. I it, it sounds like they it sounds like they work for their their paycheck at least. Main complaint the players have is all the shit they add the end of the season so they play forever. Yeah. Well, and how long's their off season? Do they do they get an off season or are they just playing year round? Like football. Football's a very short season. Like American football is a very short season. Like, I'll, I'll hear about the draft, and then I feel like two weeks go by and they're talking about the Super Bowl. Unraveling the mystery tax. What the, Okay, you learn Davenport is imposing a new taxation law on traded goods. Its details are a mystery, as all good taxes are, but you know it is yielding considerable profits without impacting commerce. If you're going to... If you were to crack its secret... Such a tax could greatly benefit your village. Interesting. Trade for a thousand gold worth of resources with Davenport? I mean, that'll happen eventually. Let the bailiff investigate. Yeah, we can't just go ask. 70% success of asking nicely? They used to get three to four months off with a few international games in there. Now elite teams can get like three weeks off, which all the money-making junk they've added in like world tours, etc. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like that might be a bit much, but I'm not the one who's suffering there, I guess. Um, if we had more labor influence, if we had just a little bit more labor influence. Um, this one has a chance of failure, so I'm just going to do the one that's going to succeed eventually. Hey, wheat farm built. Okay, things are getting built now. I think our... I think our new, um... Whatchamacallit, our, our iron smelter is, is doing good work for us. Okay, so you're gonna do... How far out this way can I go? That far. Let's say, like... Something like this. That's probably plenty, right? Counter argument is they have 11 players on the pitch in squads of 24 plus, so you just rotate more. Yeah. I mean, I guess. Um, so less less field time. But I don't know that, like, the on-field time isn't necessarily the... the only thing they're doing, right? They all gotta be field ready. They're all working hard to be worth putting on the field, right? done are yeah we're done look at all this uh cool so now we have we can have two vinters and 12 vine growers holy cow uh so yeah we're gonna need more lodgings aren't we Jeez, each of these each of these little vineyards can have three interesting people. We need more monks. I think it says a lot about you as a person that you're concerned about the welfare of these players as your main question about it. I mean, I guess. I guess. I mean, I am concerned about their wealth, their welfare to some degree. But like, the thing that, that, the alarm bells in my head, when you describe that kind of a situation, the, the, the thing that's going off in my head is, how long do they keep squeezing the whole system like that until the whole thing breaks down and the players are like, 
no, that's too much. And then everything blows up. Because I'm sure this isn't like all the players being, you know, oh, hey, we should add another tournament to here because we all just love playing football all the time. It's the it's the owners, right? It's the it's the money interests that are that are saying, well, how do we how do we get more out of these assets, right? A lot of burnout from coaches, yeah, I believe that. And some players, yeah. I mean, I'm I'm not I'm surprised there isn't more burnout from players, but but coaching staff totally believe that. Seeing pretty awful injuries from not getting that recovery time, yeah, totally. Yeah, that's true. I mean, the more the more you're on the field, the more likely you are to get injured just by, just because how numbers work, right? And then you don't have as much opportunity to, to take it easy and, and recover from the games. Yeah, I imagine, I would love to see like injury rates over time, even for like hours played. Just like you, you start pushing hard enough and each hour of, of field time becomes more dangerous, I bet. Just as like a, just as a system, just as a whole, a whole industry that is dependent on, like at its core, right? If you don't have people on the field playing the game, you don't have an industry. And if you aren't taking care of the, like the most important asset, even to talk about them in an inhuman way, if you aren't taking care of your assets and you break them, it's gonna be a lot harder to get more. It's it, the, that would be really hard to replace if you if you break that hard enough, right? No, that's that's where my brain's at. Big fight coming on between all the different governing bodies because that's where the issue comes. Yeah. Oh, and geez, I yeah, and the fact that they're all in different countries, right? So everyone's labor laws are all different. Everyone's. Everyone's money laws are all different. Gross. I, that, that sounds like a mess. Um, this is cool. I like that. I like that we're seeing the visitors. I like that they can come and stay in our little our little hospitium, and then they all just you know go go to the church in the morning, and they all go into town. That's this is cool. I, I like this. He has some really funny stories about Spain. Interesting. I definitely don't know them. Um, yeah, there's like a lot of different... Like even just the, the range in within Europe, the range of people's relationship to work, just, just across the board, right? Is quite, quite different, is my, my impression. Like the way, the way German people and the way that Spanish people and the way that English people all, their relationship with work and labor is all, all seems very different from a, from, from an outsider view. Uh, oh, you just need, you need people. We're just needing people. That's interesting. So we, so we have high happiness and we have full employment essentially. Still saying food. Jeez, we are consuming our food. Um, I think I want to put some tents in for these. Um, I don't. We'll we'll do that for the moment. The best player in the world played for a club that had financial issues and he loved the club, so he, they did a deal and put him on the new staff for a quarter of what he was, tried to defer salaries of other players, so who were owed 100k a week for two years, tried to make it 25 over 8. Oh god, and the Spanish court blocked it and said it was illegal. Yeah. My goodness. <laughs> That's Those are some different numbers. Those those numbers are different. Can't force employers or employees to take new contracts on lower pay. Don't care if you're a football club. Right. A contract's a contract. 
In case everyone forgot, contracts are our contracts. <laughs> Just the whole the whole idea of deferred salary is also pretty gross. A wise stargazer come to the village predicting bad weather. Great. That's exactly what we need. Um, oh, so we got we got these, right? We have our our sheep are over here. Or they're going to be. I'm gonna move our sheep industry basically. We have two weaver huts. And then the clother. The, like the tailor's workshop. I mean, it, I guess it can go over here too. And I'm just gonna move the whole industry. Tailor. We have more more houses coming in. Honestly, that club is a mess. They just keep selling their future income for money now. Yeah, uh, like they would sell 90% of their TV income for the next 10 years for money right now. Jeez. Money in football is a huge topic. I mean, it sounds like it's the same. It's, it's like when an industry gets to that point, like some some threshold of there's there's this much money and it attracts a certain kind of thinking, I guess, right? Like it feels like all major industries are suffering that same phenomena where they're they're prioritizing needing money right now. And if it means you're 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 kneecapping yourself in the future, then whatever. And then when you get to that future, you go, oh, well, I no one saw that coming. And then you you just have to, like, sell the future harder, right? Like, I don't I don't think that's just a football thing. I, th I think that's a capitalism thing. All the French clubs are going bankrupt as a TV deal. A TV deal? How so you're saying a a TV deal is making a bunch of clubs suffer all at the same time. See, that's and that's also a wild thing to me. You get all these corporations merging and, and buying each other out to the point where all it takes is one thing happening to affect the entire industry, right? It becomes so fragile in a way. The deal to broadcast the French League fell through and all the teams had budgeted on getting like 10 million a year or whatever and it was just taken away, gone. My god. Ugh, I wish I had an ounce of surprise in me. Um, so our stone is ending up here. Stone, we actually, we definitely want to grab as much as we can, right? Because this is where we're making polished stone. Back 40 years ago, it was ticket revenue that made up most of their income, so it was more stable, but now it's dwarfed by TV money. It's volatile and can be thrown off by bidding wars. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Well, plus TV stuff is like a, a Nash, like an international market, right? If you're, you're, you're depending on ticket sales, you're, you're beholden to like your community and your fans, but then it's, it turns into, TV money, and now it's like you're, you've turned your, your team into a stock, is what it feels like. Uh, 
Okay, so I need to we I can I can promote two more people. Hooray. Um, I think we need more nuns. Yeah, you're Oop. Oop. So now we have two Vinters and two Vine Growers. Oh, we got our barrels there. Wish I could. <laughs> I wish I could move them around. I guess I understand why I can't, but. Uh, oh, you need people too. Need another citizen. But these are all people I care about, right? I don't have I don't have a person. I don't have a person to spare. And here's our bad weather. Germany tends to be much better as the clubs are at, owned 51% by the fans and 49% by others. That's pretty cool. So much more sustainability, much more sustainable. Uh, that said, the club I mentioned being a mess is entirely fan owned, but a much more crazy system with a club president that gets elected. So it's less of everyone sitting around discussing it like the German clubs and more like a US president presidential election. Oh yeah, I'm sure that's fine. I'm sure that I, I can't see why that doesn't work out. English Premier League gets 6.7 billion pounds over four years in TV money. That was cut overnight be chaos. That would be that would be bonkers. That would be yeah. That would this kills the football. <laughs> it's so much money. It's so much money. Six billion pounds. We are very bad at understanding how how much a billion is, right? World hunger of soccer TV, yeah. Right? <laughs> a, a lot of people would pick the soccer. All our our town is doing okay, I think. Uh, we got a lot of... Got a lot of stuff built already. You claim to be growing. Uh, you're behind everyone else. 1.87 billion people watch the league, so I guess it's not that much. I mean, just because it's a lot of people doesn't mean it's not a lot of money. Farmer's holding his nerve. <laughs> He's waiting for the weather to clear. Uh, and they're working on that. Cool. Oh, and beauty. Yeah, we should do we should do beautification stuff. But we've unlocked a bunch too. And we might even get like I can we even get any any more? Any more? My God. My mouth. Uh, candles? We're not doing candles yet. Wax, iron, and tools. Iron and tools are already so, so, so strapped. Uh, that's decorative stuff. I want that. Trade quantity bonus of 80% from Villid with Clergy Kingdom and Labor, uh, Labor Allegiance. Minus 20% price. Interesting. Okay. Don't want that. Okay. A steward of the bishop is approaching. Plant arch. Ooh. 
Does it go over a path? Kinda? I mean, that's cool. A whole bunch of hedges, a bunch of planters, a bunch of benches. But they, they just like, they just straight up cost gold. They don't actually cost materials. Editing, oh, that's cool. Wall banners, oh cool, that's cool. Got these big gateways. Polished basin. Huh. Wall fountain, okay, cool. So some of these actually cost stone. But seven beauty. That's not bad. Um, I like these arches. Elegant stone arch. Five beauty for for 15 polished stone. Let's do like um do them around our market area. That'd be cool, right? Do like that. It kind of bleeds out this way a little bit. Maybe we'll do it like over here. In football manager, my club just paid 26 million in tax. Hopefully a new school and hospital. Yeah, no, or like two missiles. Jeez, yeah. The arches leading the market square is cute. I think so. We have walls, too. I don't know if the walls actually get, give beauty. They're just, they're just walls. We can make them hedges. Of course, I can't, like, look at our previous thing. Oh, that's cool. Interesting. Does it even... Cost anything? Okay. Uh, I can just. You, we could just put down hedges, apparently. Really? Wow. <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll wait until the. All the arches are done. Maybe we'll, we'll hedge all this in. Um. What else can we do? Got trees? I mean, we should put some trees down, I think. Elegant planter. I think we need some trees. I think what we need now is trees. Visit the tavern as well. And you get a tree, and you get a tree. Well, and that got made. We should do that. Afford. Oh, <laughs> okay. I spent all our money on trees. It's a common thing. Just 
rebuild them as we get the money for them. <laughs> Jeez, I did put them everywhere, didn't I? Did none of them? Did I not afford any of them? Okay, whatever. We have a general income incoming, so... Let's call it good. Uh, sheep. Let's do the sheep. I'm gonna say... Uh, you, you continue... So yeah, I'm just gonna... Unassign these people. Right, not the not the warehouse. Finishing up, okay. So yes, and then I'm just gonna reassign the same people over here. Should automatically kinda figure itself out, right? That. So if I look at here, we'll see that you are level one shepherd. You're level one shepherd. Did you all not? Did it not work? I guess shepherd probably doesn't matter as much. Level one tailor? Really? Oh, there's a level six weaver. Hmm. See, yeah, there, okay, so there is a level six tailor. It just didn't pick it. Okay, well. Weaver. Oh. oh, because they probably didn't get, they probably didn't finish over on the other one before I tried to assign them over here. I'm gonna unassign these. So the, the level six weaver is fine. And then everyone else is gonna try and finish. And then over here, you are good. So I'm just gonna straight up destroy this, right? Fortunately, sheep are just kind of quantum beings and don't actually exist in a, in a literal sense, I think. So yeah, you're, you're good. Warehouses can stay. You can go away. Meh. Okay. Um, and then we'll, we'll not have that, but the, the warehouse itself can stay for something, I guess. you is waiting for you to finish finish up whatever that means um right weaver do we have we should have a weaver is that what that means uh, same job yeah there you go you. We got we got both of our weavers, right? Um Taylor Is that level six of this? Yeah, okay. Yes, that's how that works. And then you're a shepherd. No, that's not okay. <laughs> I don't know who I picked. And then you, right? And then 
And I need another commoner. I need two more commoners. I guess you all need... <laughs> Sheep! Uh, okay. Oh, one citizen left. Yeah, okay. Why? Food problems? I guess we did just come out of bad weather. But look at all the trees I'm making for you. Um, okay. So then... I, th I need a couple more citizens, right? Or commoners. I need a couple more commoners. Let's just... Let's just do that. So you... You... And then you're good. And then all three of these are good, right? In theory... We have transplanted our sheep industry. Uh, so I definitely want a warehouse over here as well. Which I cannot afford. Oh dear. Look at our church though. Holy cow. This is coming together. That's coming together. Mm, come on. Oh, didn't I? made another tax office, didn't I? Yeah, so now we can have... can have more tax collectors. I think that's important. Um, I need one more commoner, which I can no longer afford. Or have someone available, even. Wow. We need more people. Prosperity's up to 283, though. Looking for 300. So I can actually make jewelry with all of our gold. All of our gold. We have so much gold. <laughs> There's a bunch of barrels. That part's working, at least. Poor money. Getting there? I think so. Our our money situation was okay. Uh, last month we spent too much money on trees. 480 on construction. But 750 on upkeep. Jeez almost 300 on administration oh it's the fort no oh, the monastery actually the monastery is <laughs> all all of it <laughs> um where do i have my edicts here because i have the tithe the splendor thing the food satisfaction I want, but there's also like, um, there's a reduced, uh, upkeep as well, right? Clergy building upkeep reduced by 10%, so that's like 20 a month. I don't know if that's worth it. Last month we spent too many, too much money on trees. Yeah. It's, yeah. Have you seen how much trees cost these days? 
happens to me all the time, I swear. I would, if it were more than 10%, it would be one thing. Hmm. Well, hopefully our second tax collector will help. But I have a hunch that, like, like they produce tax, but then someone needs to come by and collect it, right? I don't know if there's just a bunch of uncollected tax sitting around. I don't know if there's even a way to see. Whoa, there. Okay, do it quick. Quick while I can. Oh, and then I should also do the, the promote. Remote. And then you're gonna be my new tax collector. Now we have three tax collectors. Hopefully that will help with some cash flow. Missing farm zone? What? producing grapes. How do I make a zone, though? That did not... That did not make itself clear. Do I need to add, like, a... No. Grapes are selected at the winery. You're a winery, and you're... This is all winery. So if I look at garden... Still just berry and herbs. Oh, interesting. Jeez, now we have money. And yes, I'm just gonna blow it all on trees. Got my payday, blow it on trees. Normal middle medieval things. Explain yourself to me, please. I like the Monday streams. Nice thing about Monday. It's a good way to relax. Yeah, totally. I mean, that's why I'm here. It's... You gotta... Like, it's... You gotta have a Monday. But if you're gonna have a Monday, you might as well have an Unchowder, right? This is your... This is your consolation prize for having a Monday. Or maybe a reward for getting through it. So... Oh, interesting. Oh, I could just... You could just switch the function of a thing. Can I go... Go to my... Go to this chapel. We have a chapel and we have... 
this one, this is, this is a chapel. They're both chapels. They're both the same chapel, okay. I was gonna say I can switch the function of this building, but I don't think I can. Indep not independently of this building, at least. Go back. It's a winery. Missing rot materials, missing farm zone. But where does it even let me paint a zone? There, okay. Got it. Jeez. So I kind of screwed myself with this placement then. Can I like... Like they all need their own individual zones. Hilarious. Okay. So one of them goes like here. One of them goes here. One of them goes here. And one of them goes here. There. Can you figure that out? Just make the whole thing whine. Bishop would like to purchase food from your notorious land. It's still... No, because we're like still... No, not today. Sorry. Jeez. Wheat for hops. I don't... I don't need hops. I don't need... I am self-sufficient. You gotta offer me something pretty good. I have to go... How did I get there? Parts list. And we could chop down these trees and turn that into vineyard. I need to click. I need to click on it and go to parts list. Jeez. And like most of these don't have people in them anyway. Because I need to promote more. We have we have 30 books. Okay. Let's promote some people. Promote. Promote. Right, that will help. It's now five venters. So if I go here and then parts list, okay. Jeez. But then. <laughs> uh. So I'm trying to make these a little tidy. Or can you go on? Can you go on the hills? Oh, look at that! Well, they figured it out. Okay. <laughs> they can go. Sure. They don't seem to need physical, actual access, do they? I mean, 
grapes. <laughs> if I if I knew that, I would have planned it a little differently. But whatever. In theory, we're gonna plant some grapes. I do want like more buildings in here. Maybe this maybe this turns into a giant vineyard. Maybe that's what we do. Like this, this can be the actual like monastery building stuff and we move all of our farm stuff back out here. That could be pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna wait until, I guess have we already consumed all the planks we need for our big church? Jeez, this is getting close. Yeah, we're good on planks there, okay. So I'm gonna say and start building this bridge. Villager path blocked. It'd be cool if you told me where. I mean, they're they're figuring it out, right? <laughs> I, I like this. Is just a million grapes. You, yes. So you need to have wool. Wool and cloth and clothing. All right, you're good, you're good, you're good. For the abbess plan plans new deal with northbury cannot host them at our monastery judging by our land help her delegate work host northbury's merchants with an approval above 60. well i think we can handle that for 25 influence not that i need much more influence at this point but sure probably already full on yeah we're already full on lodgings can't tell them to prioritize one over the other yeah i think this whole this is gonna be mon this is gonna be monastery island unless i can't buy this are these not surely these are purchasable surely Wheat for the bishop. Uh, we still want wheat, I think. Oh no, yeah. I, I what is. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on there. We'll find out. We'll figure it out. Looking, looking to purchase large shipments of wheat as monks nearby are running low on food. You want 200 wheat? No. <laughs> I'm gonna say no. Um, I'm also gonna run to the restroom. But check out my grapes. Maybe it's just because we haven't built the bridge yet and no one can physically get there. Maybe that's why we can't buy those tiles. Uh, so we'll, we'll find out. I'll be right back.
I have returned. Um, I'm curious if things are actually happening in here. I could not stay at Hospedium, but they still have 74% happiness. Because our town is just so cool. Um, I'm seeing grapes. There are some grapes here. Yeah, look, grapes. Cool. Um, and then our bridge got made. And then... Well... <laughs> I can buy this one. Because uh, I could... Yeah, okay. So it only lets me go like one tile out from what I currently own. That's what's going on. So yeah, I, I, you couldn't you couldn't just like buy a tile way the heck out here. You have to be contiguous. So that means now I'm going to save up gold for for buying this island essentially. Are we... Oh, okay. Still have spot for one more nun. Do you think it will let you buy it? I think so. I think it's just because it's it's you know further out than just one one tile. Like I you can only I think you can only buy tiles that will that are like adjacent to tiles you own. So I have to buy I have to buy this one and then we can buy these other ones. Cause like I mean it it would let me buy this but not this. I it's gotta be just just that one issue, right? Oh my, our money. Oh, our money. Um, oh dear. I mean, I could raise taxes again. That's that's quite the hit to happiness, though. And here's where it says we have, you know, 170 tax stored in buildings that is waiting to be collected. And like this, it's like 12 a month. We only have two citizens. Do our citizens keep leaving? be worth more if I did less for commoners and more for serfs. It's essentially the same, but less happiness. Hmm. That's, I mean, that's a little bit more money, but I don't know if it's worth it. Hmm. Taxing our churches. But I don't know. I guess what is. How much are we getting from our church tax? I mean, our, our little rustic church here is getting 79 a month. That was this, right? I mean, once our big church is done. Maybe this will pay for itself in the long term. Your luxury market man. Oh, probably not. Um, because I bought that. All right, we built that and then forgot to do it. Good call. Also, hi. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, my gold. My gold. We're working on these arches, though. These are cool. They can walk through them just fine. Okay, we got herbs. Hopefully we got, we got herbs and honey, right? Yeah. Hi. Hello, hello. Yeah, I do forget the whole gotta put a person in the building step sometimes. Um, I did relocate our sheep over here. In theory, this is all working. I mean, we have, we have some clothing. I mean, there's cloth. We're, we're going, we're getting through our wool, right? We're using our wool. Can you have cloth sitting there? Okay. I think that's okay. The wheat is going. Um, oh, and then our, our tavern is gonna need a way to actually sell the wine, right? Because it don't do that on its own. I'm gonna add a service counter. I kind of want to redo the whole dang thing. Because we don't, we have... Well, we have better things for our tavern now. Yeah, refined hall, refined bay window. Am I allowed to like... Can I get rid of individual components of this? Service counter. Yeah, okay, so I could get rid of individual components of this. Because the... The berry brewery... Will just be the berry brewery, right? Like, that's... Or no, I just made that out of a, out of a thatched cabin, okay. I think... I'm gonna build a new tavern like back here and then we'll we'll just destroy this and then this can be room for like more market to fill warehouse with transporters depends on which one this one at least I did not I mean I guess that's fine I have three unemployed people, but they're at the monastery, so they're not going to do anything for me right now. Oh, there they are. Hey, negotiation successful. Perfect. And we're, we're over halfway to figuring out this mystery tax thing. We have so much influence now. Just gonna buy the things. It's gonna be a while before we have 400 prosperity. We're almost at 300 though, which will get us this, this stuff. This is like the next, this is like the last functional thing to unlock, I think. I guess it could be the same, the same tavern site, but a new, just a new structure, right? I'm gonna add a new public lounge. I'm gonna do it with the refined hall. Public lounge capacity. Twenty people. Pff, 
find entrance elevated. Oh, that's kind of cool, actually. I appreciate that. A refined chimney. Um, but then it needs like these service counters, right? And how does... Oh, I see. Okay. Do like a... Oh. Awkward. Oh, but these are cool. Oh, but these could be like our, our service counters, right? I'll do like one, two, three. Oh, that's cool. I like those. Right, and then those count as... Did I make them count as service windows? Probably not. So I need to do... Because they're their own... Yeah, they're their own thing. So I need to add service counter you. And then... Oh, it's like all... Can I move you? There you go. Okay, and then... Add service counter you. Right. And then add service counter you there cannot build comments not met because interior access no Oh, that's funny. <laughs> does my does my elevated thing not work? Oh, but I can build this. I just can't build these. Really? Is this not? Does this not work? Because you I just can't afford. You do have interior access. saw refined terrace skylight window but these don't have like these are just decorations right that's I mean that's cool but these will specifically say tavern or capacity So then if I say, this is symmetrical. Yeah, interior access, no. So how do I, why do they not connect? Do they need... 
They all need their own. I don't even know where's... It doesn't even have like an, uh, a spot to go in. Is this really a room? It says it's a room. And yet it cannot accept a door. Hmm. Okay. Well, I don't think that's going to work. I don't know why. If I attach to like one of these. No. But I like it. Why can't I do it? These are all these are all gonna be huge. I don't need two or three taverners for every single one of these. It's all huge. Hmm. Like, can this count? This is just... This is just a little... This is just a little thing. I'm I'm quite confused now. Okay, well, I can't do it the pretty way that I want to. These all seem just gigantic. I mean, I could do kind of the same thing, just glom on like that. <laughs> or do I just make it gigantic? That's kind of cool. But like, that's gonna hold three, three taverners, right? It doesn't actually increase my capacity. I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to say one goes there. It's as short as it gets. And then maybe like that. Or these all need to be different, right? So that's going to be... That's one. And then... Ooh. about that? That doesn't look too bad. It at least kind of looks like a tavern, right? The other thing would look cooler and have more benefits, but I think this is what we're going to do. Yeah, let's just, let's just build it. It's all my money. Um, but then maybe the Brewery stays the same? I guess I didn't rebuild the brewery itself, did I? The, the berry brewery. That could be like this one. Give it. Yeah, 
Yeah, why not? We make a lot of berries, we can make a lot of berry brew. I think that's fine. Uh, oh, it needs a chimney? Wow, okay. cost me money that I don't have. Seafront Tavern, yeah. See, like, the uh, coastal view. I think that's kind of cool. Build. Before I run out of money again. Okay. Well. I think wine is going. We got 50 wine sitting here. And then there's 100 wine there. Wow. Okay. Um, in that case, let's go here. All right. And then we can sell some excess wine. Yeah. Let's sell. Let's sell some wine. I'm not gonna sell the grapes. I'm just gonna hold on to the grapes. Um, we can sell. We could sell some honey. So like over 150. And then herbs. We have 600 herbs. Okay. Let's sell like over 200 herbs. Cause I know people keep asking for it. Um, we have a bunch of candles. I don't know why. So I'm not going to sell them. Um, we're in theory selling clothes. I don't think we're actually getting up to 50, though. I'm going to keep our cloth and wool. Um, cheese. Oh, we could sell cheese. So like over... I guess I, I want to keep a bunch of cheese. Everyone's so upset about our food all the time. Oh, we have a bunch of wheat now. Oh, do we need another... Uh, do we need more windmill? I guess we'll see if we get through all of our wheat through this growing season again. I think we might actually need another windmill at this point. But we're, we're turning all of our flour into bread, it seems. Yeah, we're using all of our flour. We're just not making, we're just not using all of our wheat. In theory. You all have... Wait, do we need more milk? Wow, okay. Uh, I'm gonna plop down a dairy farm. Jeez, we must have just sold... <clears throat> wow, okay. Hops, cheese, dairy farm, yeah. We'll just keep making this whole place undesirable. Doot, doot. Stone church built! Heck yes. Look at that. Look at that. Weekly attendance, 207. Look at that. And it's going to be taxed all the while. Wowzers, wowzers, right. I'm going to leave all these trees. I'm going to leave it all forested like this. So we can have a church in the forest. Just, just like the most wholesome game we most recently played. So now that I actually have some gold, let's buy some spots. Yeah, perfect. Okay. So this is going to work fine. Um, I 
think there's gonna be yeah mineral deposit here specifically oh my god there were cute things that happened in that church in that forest and some very bad things most of the things were cute most of them were cute uh, oh did i get it i got my new tax uh taxes as in is it like a was it an edict or something Edicts. No, not that one. Uh, it it went away so quickly. I didn't even catch what it gave me. just like it's not just here right because we we had these before i have five taverns bountiful trade with northbury last season has been good fear neighbor northbury the appreciative abbess negotiated better prices with their merchants who are now ready to offer reduced prices on certain goods at specific times in exchange for increased trade volume Oh. Barrels? Trade bonus of barrels. When buying barrels. I don't need to buy barrels. We need cheaper tools. So cheaper buying tools. When buying cloth. Yeah. I'm not buying any of those. I'm not buying anything. I'm just selling. And going broke anyway. Yeah, whatever. Jeez, this is gonna get... This is gonna get fill, filled. I'm curious if they'll ever figure out a, a route between here. Automated fountain masterpiece. Your trading prowess has inspired your villagers. They wish to build a fountain significantly improve the beautification of the area minimum number of decorative parts including masterwork this automated fountain masterpiece okay um i mean we should spread out our masterpieces right i guess We could, I could put it here. Needs a base and a tower and an automaton. Okay. The bird or Jacquemart? It's a musical part. Interesting. Pillar of great elegance and complexity. So let's say in theory we did a basin. Mountain, yeah. And then, where does the automaton go? Once again, I would love to understand. I can't make that taller. Uh, 
right? One base, one tower, and an automaton. But there's no... There's no attachy point. Minimum number of decorative parts, 15. Oh my goodness. Always with the chill builder vibes, love it. I love it too. I'm struggling to comprehend this game at times. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's saying that once 15 components, so I'm gonna do a base and then a basin and then a tower and then a tower and then a spire. Oh, I see, and now they can attach the sides. Oh, interesting. So I can do like bird, 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 bird. That's, I mean, that's kind of cool. So that's six, nine, 10, 11. I still need four more parts. That's quite the fancy fountain. Just no weeping angel statues, please. I'll do my best. Um, we have Axe Lady. Does Axe Lady count? Our little fountain over here. There's Axe Lady. <laughs> oh, and see, now I'm making so much dang money. I'm swinging, swinging wildly between having money and being broke. Uh, but I want that one. And then may as well, right? <laughs> Axe Lady is cool. She can stay. Good. Because building that was a pain and a half. Holy cow. Uh, can I, like... Can even make this... Oh, I could just move it. Can I do like... No. That's ugly. Can I do just a bunch of these? Nope. Oh, and what's... what does that mean? Why is that one red? Uh, well that's 12... 14? I would need one more. Oh, but I could put things on each of these, okay. Oh, come on. Okay, fine. Okay, so I'm gonna have two of these spires, and they're all going to have just all birds. And then like that. And then that's... That is 15. And heckin' expensive. 120 iron and 185 tools. And gold bars. Holy cow. Holy cow. I mean, it's cool looking, but wow. Uh, I mean, I guess. I'm, I'm curious if this will actually work. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> yeah, uh, oh, hi, Gantrock. Hello, hello. We are, we're working on, on things. I, we just finished our giant church. Look at this. We got a big old church. Uh, the bishop wants to buy our stuff again. Always with the food. I'm gonna say no again. But our, our giant church can see 200 people a week. It's like being on payday and a week later, yes. Absolutely. Uh, lost seal final on pens on stream. Yeah, we were just talking about that. 
here to chill in Chowtown. <laughs> this is... That was accidental. Clicking buttons while, while on the wrong screen. Uh, trying to scroll and play games at the same time. Uh, all good over here. Been out with a dear friend for a couple of beverages. Cool. And catch up so far. Good on Monday. Uh, good start to the week. Love to hear it. It has been pretty chill over here as well. The weather's finally cooling off. We actually got some cloud cover over the weekend, which has <laughs> not really happened all, all summer. Um, I'm gonna build some of these trees now that we have some money. These are, these are being worked on. Live in Wales, cloud cover is almost constant. We, I mean, we have, um, I'm in the, the Pacific Northwest, so we have a pretty intense cloudy season, uh, but we're not in it. <laughs> like, it get, we are rainy all winter and, and fall and spring, but summer is really, really clear and it can get pretty warm out here. It's more surprised to see the sun this afternoon, yeah. The last couple months have been, like we've been getting up into the 80s, touching the 90s every once in a while, Fahrenheit. Okay, so now now that we've done all of this, I don't know if I want to move... Do I move the vineyard buildings themselves out here? Or do I just move the farms themselves, like the plots? I think I want to use this space for like more, more scriptorium and more visitor space. ADF is not too bad. Uh, you, say, you say that. I hate it. You get above 72 and I'm sweating. It's 90s is a lot more miserable. 90s definitely miserable. But like e even 80, 80 in the sun. Like if there's cloud cover and it's 80, it's like, it's okay. But you know, we've been, it's, you know, two o'clock in the afternoon, it's 85 degrees and there's no clouds in the sky. I hate it. I hate it. Oh, and so yeah, we need, we need a bunch more space. Okay, so I'm gonna, let's do this. I'm not gonna deconstruct all of this quite yet, but I'm gonna add a winery. And it's gonna be out here. And then like all of this is gonna be the farms. So I'm gonna say winery. So our, our buildings will be over here. So you go there, and then, I mean, I could, I could spatter about these, right? I'm just gonna do one, two, I have no idea how big these actually want to be, three, and we'll say four. Four. And if I need to squeeze in another, I can. And that's and that's gonna be it, right? Can I not? There we go. Okay, we can work on that. And then I'm also gonna move our actual farm plots over here, like over here. I'm gonna say monastic garden. I think I have. Eight herb planters, which has been plenty, but I want more uh, berry planters. One, two, three, four. I'll be a little, a little, a little good about, good about this being arranged. That's two more than I currently have. I'm gonna do like another another four. And there's obviously space to build more if we need to. There we 
There we go. Cool. Now our now our money situation is completely different. <laughs> Love me some sunshine. I I am the opposite. I love like a a cloudy seventy degree day is my is my ideal. For whatever reason, the sun the sun makes me melt. Not long back from vacation where it was over ninety all week long. It's yeah. I was gonna say it's nice to spend some time in, but like a, a week of nineties in the sun is a bit too much for me. I turn into a lobster. <laughs> I just, I just bake. Uh, they want hops. They always want hops. No, whatever. I do not have a need to continue helping you. Uh, oh, but this finished. Uh, we can have a dairy farmer and some cows. We're still using all of our tools very, very consistently. Um, I don't know about our... Where's our iron ore at? We've used all of our iron ore, too. Tools have been the things that's holding us back quite a, like, quite a while. This and this one's gonna be kind of brutal. Have we actually hit... Oh, hey, we hit! We did hit 300. Perfect. So now we can start a jewelry industry. Uh, and we can also make very fancy bridges if we really wanted to. Um, oh. Okay. I'm gonna try really hard to not let my computer crash today. Gold smelter, jeweler's workshop. Perfect. So I'm going to say two gold smelters over here. Uh, or is that too... It's still desirable. You're just not beautiful. Have some... Flower pots to make up for it. Oh, now I'm now I'm broke again. <laughs> lurkin, lurkin's good. I like me some lurkin. Mrs. suffers from the same problem. Factor fifty sunscreen or uber lobster is the choice. Yeah. Even if I prevent the lobster, I'm just a sweaty, stinky, miserable nightmare the whole time. Like best case scenario, I'm grumpy. That's why that's why this part of the world works for me. I only have to deal with it like a quarter of the of the year. And every other day I can just go outside and it's it's fine. It's generally fine. Um okay, so then I'm also going to want a jeweler which is not undesirable, so it's just going to it's just going to fit right in here. All right, where is it? Entrances there. Why not? If 500? It costs 500 just to make it. And that too. Holy cow. Holy cow. going generally speaking though uh you need a bunch of planks are we like oh we've used wow we've used our wood we used our wood oh dear we had so much wood we had, we had so much wood um i think that means we need to buy a forest I think that's the smart thing here. Uh, 
Uh, so we're going to extract all of this. This tile is for extracting. And it seems like our, our forester isn't really keeping up with it too, right? Like we are planting trees, but not that many. So I'm gonna say all of this is also for reforestation. I'm gonna make some more foresters as well. We extract there, but I'm not going to reforest that. Right. Like they're they're working on it. I do see a bunch of little trees. I think we just need, need more more lumber camps. I'll put one like here, here and here. And then and then I want a forester. I'm gonna put a forester here and a forester here. smelter. Oh yeah, we can do glass too. I was so focused on the jeweler. Produces glass in exchange for quartz and coal. We have not seen quartz at all yet. Night, 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 JM. Thanks for coming by. Um, I'm glad you got to see our big ass church and soon to be big ass fountain. Um, yeah, have a good rest of your week. I'll, I'll give Jezebel a, a scritch for you. I don't even know where she is right now. She's not She's she's not in here. <laughs> um, but yeah, have a good have a good rest of your week. I'll see you around. Thank you, thank you. How about our tavern? Our tavern's getting there. Maybe. What happened to the other... It's missing one tool. I mean, it's... Construction requirement not met. there. Uh, okay, I'll... <laughs> well, this part's almost done. Jeez, okay, I'm gonna let them finish what they can at least. We've got all our little arches in here. These are cool. Uh, we have... We have herbs and honey in here. Someday we'll be able to actually give them their their wine. Here, I can I can just do wine. Claims I can just put wine in there. I guess I didn't keep an eye on the wheat thing and we're so we're harvesting and we already have a hundred just sitting there So I think we want a second windmill Somewhere I 
don't really know how close things can get before it's like a, a problem. Yeah, you're, you're probably fine. gold to be able to make gold oh you didn't actually get built wheat for the king but I don't care. Um, you're gonna give me like kingdom influence, right? Which I couldn't even use if I got. My, my kingdom rating is minus 80. I have minus 50 kingdom influence. Yikes. The king does not like me. Wheat for the wheat god? Who is the wheat god? Is Wheatley the wheat god? I would love to be able to actually finish this. The king, apparently. <laughs> I guess that tracks. I haven't built the door yet. I guess that's probably a thing. I like our bustling little little merchants area here. Market, I guess is what it's called. I guess I could say that this is going to hold the wine and the berry brew, right? If this is just where it's all going to happen. Oh, like wine can move out of there. I guess that's fine. Always with the ding tools. What kind of tools are the blacksmiths making if they're like disposable? Yeah, tools. I could, uh, I could import tools, but I. That's just gonna blow a hole in our budget, I know it. Host wandering monks, sure. That seems to always work out well. I think we're probably already full, right? Yeah, we're already full. Oh, and our, our dorms are full. Cool. Make artisanal filigreed hammers that break after every hit. They need to stop. <laughs> It's what it feels like. It's gonna take 18 sculptures. Oh God. Well, our, um, our sculpture will just kind of work on that over time, right? Now what's... Oh, the stained glass workshop goes on to there. Okay, interesting. Oh, we lost our master builder. That's, that's, that's a problem. See, when someone leaves, like when a citizen leaves, it doesn't tell me who it was. So I don't know what, like, 
what's missing. I just know that someone left. Um, I'm gonna promote and then promote. Or did that autofill? No. There you are. Oh, because you have to close and then reopen it. And there. Now we have a sculpture. And you're... Oh, you took the gems. You have the gems. Okay. That's actually okay. We have 13 gems. Part consists of one bundle to be assembled in the following order. Okay. So we're probably going to have to import gems. Uh, but in theory, we're going to be able to start getting um, gold bars at some point. Once I can afford 500 gold. buildings and then workers so a lot of things are being made uh, a warehouse is empty but that's because you you have nothing in you uh, lumber camp got made so yes you get you get your three vineyards I can't directly influence anyway um, forester and forester and then this granary is just milk I think that's fine with just the two uh, this warehouse I think is fine probably just using all of our barrels Cooperage, I we could do we could do with another citizen for the Cooperage. Uh, not that we have spare people. Oh, can I? Should I get rid of this one? Our, our weird rustic church? In theory, I mean, it's not like we have Thor Fortress style happy thoughts, right? Them attending this church versus attending this church is exactly the same as far as meeting their needs go. Cultural heritage? Yeah. Remember that time we figured out we could just make really tall things? So we made a really tall thing? Culture. People are using it. Um, oh, since we got rid of all the sheep here, I wanted to make more residential space. You're gonna be a civilian. We have so many people. We're almost up to 300 people. Do 
you are a cooper. Okay, and cool, yeah, so you're, you're planting, right? Are you planting? You're planting? Yeah. There, you'll get it eventually. Uh, we have storage full, we we're missing materials in some places. Yeah, that all makes sense. No workers assigned. Oh, okay. Oh, things got done. Oh, yes. Okay. It worked. It worked just fine. Okay, perfect. Except what is it still needing to make? Oh, it's like the chimney. Okay. That's fine. Um... Of course, we're gonna need commoners for this too. Um, but I'm gonna get rid of this lounge, if that's a thing I can do. Right, you destroy. You destroy, and you destroy. And then when the other part's done, then that will become our brew. This will be our, this will replace this. Cool. I like that. I think this looks nicer. Um, so now wine and berry brew and beer. Six taverners, I guess that's fine. It's gonna be two for each kind of alcohol. Every city I make in Timberborn, making tall things to make tall things, yes. I mean, in Timberborn, it at least has like a function, right? Here it's just, it's a little silly sometimes. <laughs> um, oh, I want mandate. I'm gonna go ahead and promote the both of you. I don't know who I just, I think I promoted a builder there. Oh well. There's a bunch of wine there, there's a bunch of beer there. Okay. Literally just waiting on two tools. This is all still going. Also waiting on tools. Jeez. There was one. One of the things. Like, gave me some tools back, right? Probably a labor one. No. Oh, clergy building. Upkeep reduced by 25. That's much better than the 10. I could probably get rid of the mutual splendor impact thing now that our splendor is ridiculous. So yeah, I'm gonna say, right, I have to go mandate and revise a clergy privilege. Is what I want. Right, yeah, these are privileges. 
I'm gonna keep the food one. I'm gonna keep the tax one. I think I'm gonna replace this with the upkeep one. And then, oh, this, this is what I was looking for. Refund 50% of tools after constructing. And I don't, it's not even gonna have to swap something out. Cool. And our monks were pleased. Very, very good. Um, we just, we have so much influence. I'm just gonna buy all the things, right? Just waiting for 400 prosperity, which we're gonna get coming up here, I think. Uh, oh, and we probably have a bunch of books sitting in here. We have 50 books. We have max books. Should I, we should just have a spot for books to go when they overflow. If that's a thing. Really? I can't store books. Interesting, okay. Uh, I guess I won't, but I am going to promote. Well, I have to, I'm going to wait until this is done. Or er, no, I don't. I need like more people too. Uh, I'm gonna say foragers can be promoted because I don't think that's too difficult, right? So now we have, yeah, nine out of 15 vine growers. Oh, and the, the wax comes from, from honey, duh. So wax should go here. So that we can continue making honey. Yay, clergy privilege. Right, so I'm gonna remove that. And I'm gonna add clergy building upkeep reduced by 25%. I think that's gonna be some money. Like last month, our upkeep for our monastery was 240. So I just saved us 50 gold a month with that. Something like that. It's not bad. Not gonna fix everything, but it's not nothing. Just a bunch of <laughs> parts sitting on the ground. <laughs> uh, this finally got made. I don't have, I don't have a person for it. Yeah, I, I sure wish it would tell me where the problem is. popular a monastery is too. There's so much just foot traffic through a monastery. Newcomers. One of you does cows. Gold smelter built. Yes. So now we need citizens. Um, 
I mean, that will at least get that part going, right? We're citizens, not commoners. Oh boy. say you know work on emptying itself but the gold bars will go in here too someday um, there's the wax okay so then in theory you're working on honey again um, I could probably like I'm not using the wax for candles, so I could just maybe sell it. And we also have just a bunch of swords that we were gifted. Let's just let's just sell the swords. Screw the swords. Yeah, let's just sell the wax. Have a bunch of candles. Sell down to like a hundred candles. I don't know where we got the candles from. But we could provide them to people, right? People want candles. That's a that's a luxury. No. It's a common wear. Okay. Uh, so let's add a wood stall. Uh, I'm in here somewhere. Berry Brewery built. Good. Um, so now, I'm gonna wait until it's done producing. I'll probably lose all that junk, right? I'll do that. Uh, okay, so I need, I mean, we need to <laughs> promote all sorts of people. Which is totally cheap and free. Beer? There's beer there. Maybe it'll figure itself out now that the tavern has been completely removed. Or moved, I guess. some of this for, I don't know, I don't think there's much more market we need to do. Are you done? No, still need 15 tools. way over here, right? Yeah. And coal is producing. We do have wood. Maybe we need another coal smelter so now that we have another smelter operation going. You can go away. You're probably good. Nope. 
you. You're fine. It's whatever. Okay. 500 gold. I want 500 gold, please. Right now. At least we're trending upwards again. Buying bread, herbs, and berries. I mean, I have... I have the berries, I have that, I, I guess. We have bread, it's just not in the granaries, is that what's going on? Yeah, I'll tell them to hoard bread for a minute. The rest should be fine. just in here no where are you then it says there's 70 in there oh well, now it's fine and now the berries aren't fine gosh darn it Portrayed me last season difficult for Northbury. They want the same exact things I'm hoarding right now for someone else. Because of course. Oh, and why is there bread there? Here, just... Okay, go away. Stop hoarding those. Um, but now I have 500 gold. I'm going to spend it right now. Otherwise, it's going to take forever for that to happen again. Why is there... Oh, there you go. Okay, you figured it out. You go all the way around back. Shouldn't there be an entrance here? Yeah? Okay. Okay. I'll pretend that makes sense. A windmill built. Put two more surfs in there. Um, okay, so now... Now what? How's our new vineyard going? I also don't know that I can, like if I tell them to farm in here, I don't know that it's going to just automatically chop down the trees. So it, we might need to like actually do, do a lumber camp kind of a situation. sisters I have at this point. How would I even tell? I can tell how many people I have. I have to go through and count them.
copyists can stay. generally working, I think. One citizen left. See, like, who? Who? Is it you? I can't even... I can't even click on you? Like, what were you doing? What have you... What job have you left? Spy. <laughs> um, so I don't care about this warehouse. The vineyards will figure out. The berry planters will figure out. A uh, good stall needs a, a surf, yes. Fine. Granary's fine. You're fine. Do I have a I don't have a commoner? Oh, it's probably a Cooper. And you're all good? Okay. Let's say you're all three of you are gonna be at least commoners. And then I need the other two army citizens. Jeez. So much money. So much money for them to be able to just walk off. Just looking at, we want uh, this gold smelter and the Cooper. The jeweler's gonna have to be something too, right? Presumably. Hey, look, I'm broke again. You are slowly making gold bars. the life of spying behind in your country. Well, I'm glad, I'm glad for them. I have to go report in. I mean, we are bustling. There's quite, there's quite a few people here. House is upgrading. Ooh. But now we're like, we're, we're at full employment. Holy cow. Wood for the king. I've got wood for the king. King is planning new outposts. Give me 300 gold. I, that's actually... 
Yeah, do it. I will take your 300 gold. There's our jeweler's shop, and there's four more people. So now you need two citizens. My goodness. Immediately gonna blow all that money I got for all that wood. Charcoal burners. I feel like there needs to be another warehouse over here. Because that's never going to empty. <laughs> Just plop it there. When I have money, there we go. Um, but then our. Like, we need to be able to sell jewelry to our people, right? Uh, that's that's for candles. Uh, we still have our people. Interesting. Um, and then I'm going to do a luxury stall, right? Because that could hold jewelry, yes. So a luxury good stall. It's just gonna kinda go here. turns into two jewelry. So if we're not getting reliable gems, then the jewelry's not gonna really work, is it? Do I need to be importing gems? That's gonna be way expensive. Does anyone even sell gems? You sell quartz. Kingstone Abbey gems, but they're 15 a piece. Seems like a lot. I mean, it's like the most expensive thing, like, right? Gold and, and gems are by far the most expensive. Oh. Even jewelry sell jewelry sells for ten. How does that make sense? If you bought a gold bar for fifteen and a gem for fifteen, you'd be spending thirty. You get two jewelry out of it, and then you'd sell that for twenty. Hey, clergy paramount reached. Excellent. So now we have access to monastic abateal church, an awe-inspiring monastic church dedicated to the faith, and the clergy splendor package. Cool. Golden cross, marble cross, marble stoop, and a monk statue. Cool. Um, I'm going to grab this. Why not? More churches. Um, okay, so then this will need employees, obviously, but you're going to do gold bars and coal and gems and jewelry. I think that's how that will work. 
Perfect. You go over here. Our Lady of Having an Axe. <laughs> I like it. Uh, okay, all of our building got done over here. Holy cow. Um, so now I want to see, can I... Right, so now... Paint crop field. I don't think they're going to tear down the trees. And I don't think I can say... To just destroy? I can't just chop down trees without it being like a whole thing. Uh, and I have no spare people. Hooray! Cloth surplus for beer. Do I have a cloth surplus? I guess I do. Okay. A hundred beer. Uh, well, I'm just, I'm mostly just selling the beer. Uh, so cloth could sell for anything. No one would buy the cloth. That's interesting. I'm selling the clothes, but no one's going to buy cloth on its own. Clothes only sell for two anyway. Um, but the beer... Beer sells for two. I guess that's fair. Why not? Oh, of course, it has to be inside the thing. It is. It's right there. Oh, 300. Oh, I misread. We don't have 300. I guess we'll, we'll stockpile the cloth, I guess. I shouldn't have agreed to that. Oh, well. I was kind of hoping that the jeweler's workshop could make something with just the gold. There, so jewelry, hooray! All righty, so all this got built, so now we just need to, you know, clear cut all of that. We also need to prospect that, right? I want to know what's there. Oh, perfect. Um, it's because it's a mandate. Just show me that one. Start. So then we'll figure out what it is. Um, at the very least, I can get rid of these these planters, right? Monastic garden. Yeah. And then this will become space for other things. But they can all go do their jobs over here. Clearly. Okay, I think we're going to wrap up here um, because I am quite hungry. And of course, you can only hold 100 cloth because that's how it works. Jeez. Uh, do I have another spot somewhere? Not really. I guess there's one like way over here, right? Cloth. I think we're going to say that we're good. I 
And then maybe, maybe one more of this? I don't know, we're getting... We're getting pretty good in here. Um, we got to the end of the, the clergy progression, right? Um, there's just that one tier. Oh, come on. There you go. Thanks for coming by. Yeah, absolutely. Um, thanks for hanging out. This is a this is kind of a strange one, right? Um, definitely learning as I go. Uh, woo band. Woo. Woo. Um, yeah, thanks for coming by. Um, I definitely appreciate it. Um, to, um, I think we're gonna do one more of this. I want to get that. I want to get uh, Vineyard Island all set up. Um, and then we might put a might put a pin in this one. Um, or even in just a, a little tick mark and, and call it good. Um, I think we're gonna I think we're gonna go back to Dwarf Fortress next. Today's episode is brought to you by cheese. So much cheese. So much cheese. But also by you uh, hanging out and lurking and clicking buttons down there and and joining the Discord and hanging out and, and keeping me company. Um, I'm I don't got no king sponsoring me, so it's just it's just us and the commoners that I that I'm that I'm hanging out with. I appreciate y'all being here. Um, I hope you have a good rest of your week. I'll be back on Thursday, and we're gonna do one more of this, and then I think on Saturday, I think we're gonna hop into Dwarf Fortress again. Because I've been jonesing for it. Um, so I hope you come by for that too. Um, it will continue to be chill. It will be exactly like this, but with dwarves. And a game that I understand a lot more of. Um, yeah, so I, I, I'll see you around. Um, have a good, have a good rest of your week. Stay kind.